the East West Institute presents its 2011 Peace Building Award to Mr. Fatula Gulen in recognition of his four decades of inspirational leadership to building civil society by countering its greatest threats, poverty, disunity, and ignorance. Widely recognized as one of the world's leading public intellectuals and a respected religious scholar, Mr. Gulen has started from a basic premise that every one of us is a human being first, after which comes our race, religion, ethnicity, and other identities. Mr. Gulen's reputation as one who thinks and inspires action across borders and boundaries for a better world resonates with the East-West Institute's mission of the past 30 years. Our current strategic plan identifies one of the core objectives of our work is to promote the countering of violent extremism. We believe the Gulen movement's efforts are an important part of the global effort to reduce violent extremism, not only through poverty alleviation, but through messaging. Following 9-11, Mr. Gulen was the first Islamic scholar to condemn the attacks, including an acclaimed Washington the Post advertisement, where he wrote, terrorists cannot be Muslims, and Muslims cannot be terrorists. Mr. Gulen has been a key promoter of intersectarian tolerance through high-level dialogue with top religious figures, including Pope John Paul II, Patriarch Bartholomew, and Eliyahu Baxidora, the Socratic chief rabbi of Israel. According to Fatula Gulen, you cannot embrace whole humanity unless you acknowledge all faiths and religions. We honor Mr. Gulen for his success in empowering countless men and women around the globe to volunteer their time and resources to provide education and mobilize others in promoting peace and understanding. In particular, we salute his determination to fight ignorance by establishing his own network of some 800 schools starting in Turkey and bridging out worldwide from Vietnam to Kazakhstan, India to Nigeria. At these schools, or peaceful islands as they're called, community values are fostered and marginalized groups are brought into the economic mainstream. War-torn Bosnia and Sudan, often two examples of how Gulen schools have been credited for helping overcome sectarian divides and curb violent extremism. Forty years ago, Mr. Gulen had a vision of the world as a village. Since then, he's inspired a transitional movement to make this vision a reality. Its strength comes from the fact that decisions are made and funds are raised at the local level, enabling it to achieve practical results. We note, Mr. Gulen has warned his followers to avoid a sectarian religious approach, engaging in politics or nationalist movements while focusing solely on helping to improve the lives of others.